Let me take you back to two and a half weeks ago. Kevin Shivaldayev, general manager of the Winnipeg Jets, goes out and acquires Nino Niederreiter for a second round pick from the Nashville Predators. Uh, and, you know, Jets fans are ecstatic. I'm ecstatic. I think this is a great move for a guy with term left, only making $4 million uh, or 5.25, whatever the exact number is. And I'm happy. I am happy. I'm thinking this is a great move for Winnipeg. This is the first of many. Let's get the ball rolling. I'm excited. The rest of the week goes on. Trade deadline shows up March 3rd on Friday. And what do you know? The only other move the Jets make is acquiring Vlad Asav Nemexikov from San Jose in exchange for a fourth round pick. Now, that's it. Those are the only two moves the Winnipeg Jets make going into the trade deadline in the 2022-2023 season. At the time, they are battling to stay in the top three of the Central. They are not currently top three in the Central. They have fallen out hard. But, to my surprise and to a lot of Jets fans' surprises, I don't blame any of this really on the additions or less of additions that Shovel Devil, Shovel Day Off made at the deadline. And that's what I want to talk about because I made a rant video on deadline day and talking about how this team is dead in the water. And that video isn't out of the out of date already. My opinion is still really valid. I still think that the Jets are dead because the, the management itself didn't buy in more to this team, didn't try to support this team more throughout the earlier parts of the year by looking at this team and maybe adding parts earlier on compared to when they did. But the additions of Nino and Vlad have been stellar. Like, absolutely stellar. Without a doubt, some of the best trades made on deadline day when you look at pure value uh, with the guys you're getting for what you're giving up. Like, I'm sorry, but you move out a second round pick and I believe it is a fourth round pick. That was it. And the fourth round pick is in 2025, two years from now. And you've got, got a lot of points from these guys. You've gotten seven points uh, in eight games from Vlad Domestikov. Uh, excuse me, Nino Niederreiter. Vlad Domestikov has done very well, but he's not put up that many points. Nino Niederreiter has been stellar. Four goals, three assists for seven points, like I said. He's been very, very, very good up front. His body has been present everywhere. He's making hits. He's just kind of reshaped that top six and given that Shifley line a new identity. And it's been great. Even though they yeah, that line has been playing absolutely fantastic. Uh, Nino Niederreiter is a driving a, a force in that top six now, and you definitely notice him every shift out there. You know, and you, and you look at his impact right away uh, through the game cards. Even like you can see right here, his first game would have been uh, on March third with the Winnipeg Jets. And then, like, look how many how much time he played even in his first game. 14 minutes. And ever since then, he's just been play playing great. Tonight, he only got 10 minutes and 38 uh, seconds because that line was benched because of how bad they were uh, in, uh, as a whole. So I don't really blame Nino for that. But Mark Shifley, especially on the back check. Uh, but nonetheless, though, his impact has been great. You know, and again, with the points, he has been very, very stellar. Uh, and Vlad Nemestikov is the same thing. Vlad Nemestikov has put up five points in six games with the Winnipeg Jets. Two goals, three assists. Two goals against his former club, too, in Tampa Bay. Like, the guy has been absolutely stellar. I did not think he'd be this good of an addition. Uh, when you look back to when he was acquired by Dallas going into the playoffs last year, uh, he only put up five points in 15 games. He's already got five points in six games, so let's hope that he's not done for yet. But he's been really good down there in the bottom six as well, providing offense, providing a body presence, providing just more skill and structure to a top six and bottom six at times that has lacked it. You know, this team has lacked structure, I felt like, the entire year. Even when they've been good, it's been plus up there and you haven't really seen a consistent uh, identity with the, in the Winnipeg Jets and ever since that Vlad and Nino have gotten here you've really really seen the the lines that they've been on kind of take shape and actually have an identity now and even though the Jets suck right now as a team it's hilarious to me that these two guys come in and immediately are playing fantastic hockey because it goes in to show that there's something wrong with this team right now. I don't know what, but like if you can make claim waiver claims like Kuhlman, Axel Johnson, Fajalbi, you know, the call-ups that they've had, Stenlin cutting called up when he did so late in the season, the, the rotating carousel of guys that you've plugged down there in the bottom six, and then you make two trades for these two guys, you throw them in there, one in the top six, one in the bottom six, and bang, immediate success. Like... How can Blake Wheeler, how can Mark Shifley not stay consistent? Kyle Connor, how can these guys not stay consistent? 
you know, before they these guys get here. It's just funny to me. I love it, and they've been great. Like uh, these are the these two players for me are what's driving me to watch the Jets right now. It isn't the playoffs. It isn't hoping that my team wins the Stanley Cup because right now I'm a little nervous about that. These guys are providing though some great great entertainment on the ice, and I wanted to give them some praise for it. Uh, I did not think that they would be as good as they had been. Nina Ryder, I thought honestly would be a better fit with the team. You know, later maybe like maybe once we got closer to the playoffs. I don't know, but. Uh, even Nemestikov, the, the the five points, the the two goals, and he's just been absolutely great, stellar. And again, the value you're getting for these guys, I I'm very happy with the moves. Like I obviously I wanted more, but I don't think that you could have asked for better performing moves. Uh, when you only with only two, when you look at other teams and what we've gotten with the value. Uh, I wanted to make this video because even though I still don't think Chevy did enough, I think so, I still think Chevy sold his team low at the deadline. I want to give credit to these moves because it just goes to show that Chevy knows how to make smart moves. He's just so damn hesitant and scared and timid that he never ever goes all in. He can never fully commit to something. He never has, never will, uh, but he, that doesn't mean that he's incompetent because these were some very competent moves and I, I wanted to give him praise for that because I was very harsh on him uh, on trade deadline day and I think that was very well deserved, but the moves themselves have worked out very well even if they weren't enough moves made. Obviously, the team is still struggling and they needed help. They didn't get enough of it, but these two guys have helped every um, uh, area on the ice they can, have provided goals, have provided offense, and have tried to push this team into a winning pattern. Uh, the rest of the guys just seem to not be able to, aren't buying in as much of the new addition so let me know your thoughts are on these two guys, how happy you've been with them, and uh, what out of the two, uh, what you guy, you've, uh, what your favorite moment has been from both of these guys. Honestly, I think Nino Ryder's first game with the Jets was just amazing. He, the, that hit he had, the fights, the energy. I know he didn't score, but he was such a presence and an immediate one, and at home too. Uh, that was an important game, I think, for the fans. Uh, and yeah, I'm glad that he was able to. Uh, I am glad that Chevy was able to acquire a guy with term like him, and I'm looking forward to watching him be a Jet for the foreseeable future. But let me know what your thoughts are down the comment section below on those two moves, uh, how, how you're loving these additions to the team, and which one is your favorite down the comment section below. As always, really do appreciate you guys checking out the videos and all the support. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and check out all the other affiliate links down in the description below. Have a great rest of your day. Peace, love, and positivity. As always, go Jets, go, and I will see you guys in the next one.